Hi, I'm Steve Montgomery, the Executive Director of Lampost Farm. Here in the greenhouse at the farm, a place of life, abundance, and flourishing. The reason I wanted to do this video here is because I think it represents really well what we're about at the farm and what's happening here at Lampost in 2021. It's a place of life, abundance, and flourishing. In lieu of doing a thanks for giving dinner, a support raising dinner where we invite people to come and hear our story, Mel and I decided this year, along with our board, that we wanted to produce a annual report. And it happens to be the end of our 15th year, and so there's 15 years of history wrapped up in this annual report. It's not just an annual report, it's more of a story about how we got to this year. In this, in this annual report, what you'll find is uh, highlighted are the community members here at the farm. Marnie Broderick, the owner of the farm and partner here at the farm, along with Mel and I and our kids. Um, Sarah Barbie, who stewards the gardens and is our garden manager. Christina Wakefield, our new employee, who is our livestock manager. Uh, along with all the volunteers that come alongside of Lampost and have throughout the years. It's also uh, highlights our board of directors. Um, these are people that serve the farm behind the scenes, making sure we stay on course with the mission which is to reach and teach people through agriculture. Last, we highlight our interns. Not just this past year, Alex, our intern, but also 15 years worth of interns and how that program has taken shape and evolved over the years. Another program that I wanna detail that's in here is Mel's new program, a program I'm really excited about that she's been working on for over a year called Fields Corners. It's a program that targets specifically people that have cancer in their families, reaching out to create a network for them, a place where they can come and receive discounted food options, be taught how to use the, the fruit and produce of Lampo's farm, but also be connected to other networks that surround the farm in health and healing. And then third, wanted to point out that this year, we're kind of taking a more focused approach to what we do on the farm. Instead of uh, large group events here at the farm, we're actually focusing more on targeted education and discipleship opportunities. This past year, we had the opportunity of having a few groups here for a week or um, three, four days at a time for extended amounts, a deeper dive into what we do here at the farm. And the fruit of that was fantastic. It's something we really think the Lord is moving us to. We talk about those things here in the annual report, and we'd love for you to peruse it. We wanted to get this out on Giving Tuesday because, uh, number one, people were focused on giving that day. But we also wanted to get it in your, in your hands and on our website for you to look at if you didn't get one in the mail um, as a way of, of asking you to consider partnering with us here at Lampos. We rely not only on the sale of our products, the, the meats and vegetables that we produce here, but we also rely on the donations of many. And so we're asking you to, would you consider giving to Lampost today, uh, this Giving Tuesday? Either a one-time donation or we've had many people sign up to give monthly, which helps in both directions. Uh, the one-time sustains the, the end of the year push and the monthly keeps us going throughout the year. Um, either way would be great. Would you consider that? You can either donate on our website. There's a donate button on our website at lamppostfarm.com. Um, you could send checks to us monthly. We have quite a few people that do that. And, or you can contact me at steve at lamppostfarm.com and I'll set you up with an electronic funds transfer through directly withdrawing from your bank account if that's how you'd like to do it. Last, if you share this video, that would be awesome. We wanna spread the word that Lamppost Farm is a ministry that is full of life, that is full of abundance, and that is flourishing in all directions. Um, this year, we've seen significant growth, um, both in our staff and our vision and how we do what we do uh, in the physical property here at the farm, growth in our animals and abundance in our, in our vegetable beds. Um, we're at, we, we like to say in close that we are an organization that's rooted here in the community, that's sustained by the community and for the benefit of the community. Thanks for your support. We look forward to 2022 with many of you. Thanks.